Let it go, let it go. Oh, I'm, I'm not going to sing for you. Don't worry about it. This is not a Frozen soundtrack. <laughs> but the topic is let it go. Because I talk with leader after leader, and I'm looking in the mirror when I say that too. It's not just, I'm not talking, just talking to myself, just some other leaders that I work with. And I always, you know, I hear all these sort of things like, man, if, if, if my team wasn't so crazy, we might actually accomplish something. If I didn't have that one, that one crazy personality to deal with, we could actually do something. Oh my gosh, if my crew wasn't so emotional sometimes, then we'd get such and such results. Yeah, I know, being a leader sucks. You know, we have to deal with people, duh. That's, that's part of leadership. And this is all about letting it go. As a leader, we're gonna deal with some people that just rub us the wrong way. Now we can work on our emotional intelligence, work on our emotional maturity, become a more effective leader, handle our personal business. Still, something is gonna get under our skin. So why not let it go? Did you ever consider what would be possible in your life if you just took a deep breath and let it go? Just experience the experience. Let's say that one team member is driving you crazy absolutely driving you crazy and and they're just it's they're just not working at working as a team right you, you, I be, let's just I'll put this on me I believe this person is a problem on my team if it's bugging me why not let, just experiencing it and what I mean by experiencing the experience is be I'm gonna let myself be mad this is just a new little technique I picked up recently Instead of stuffing it down and saying, well, I need to be more mature about this. I'm the leader. I'm the facilitator. Kind of holding it together. All that does is pack down the emotion. What if I vented it out? What if I experience the experience by venting it out, complaining, moaning, and groaning about this individual? Not in front of them. I mean with a friend or, or just with myself and just let it out. Let it go. Experience the experience. Be a brat, Thomas. Be mad cuss and scream and do whatever I'm doing, eventually it's going to go away. Do you ever notice that? If, I know you've been mad before. If you ever get the opportunity to vent it out and it sounds so immature and unprofessional and unadult, but you vent it all out, doesn't it clean you out a little bit? You've experienced the experience. So I'm reminding you that this might be a tool that you can use to move forward with being an effective leader. You might not be able to change the individual but you can most certainly allow yourself to experience the experience that you're having so that you're a much healthier, grounded, and focused leader. It's kind of like letting a, a vent out if, if, if you're kind of thinking about it. Yeah, it's just kind of like letting a vent out, all right? So it's just something to consider. Let it go. No, I'm not going to sing for you again. So let me know what you think of the, about this letting it go.